presenter, would I lie to you? The show where fabrication is the name of the game. On David Mitchell's team tonight, star of the award-winning sitcom The Thick of It, who says most MPs claim to love the show. My God, MPs will claim for anything. It's Rebecca <laughs> Franz. <laughs> And uh, a splendid comedian who's so young that last year he won Funniest Embryo at the Edinburgh Festival. <laughs> Jack Whitehall. <laughs> and joining Lee Mack tonight as the hapless, clumsy star of Miranda, she recently picked up three comedy awards, then dropped two, tripped over the red carpet and threw wine into the crotch of Colin Firth. <laughs> it's Miranda Hart! And uh, a man whose will-they-won't-they they relationship with Margaret made The Apprentice a hotbed of sexual tension for five series. Nick Hewer! <laughs> and uh, we start with round one. It's Home Truths, where our panellists each read a statement from a card in front of them, and to make things harder, they've never seen the card before, so they have no idea what they'll be faced with. It's up to the opposing team to separate the facts from the fibs. Nick, you're going to be first. When filming is over for the day, Lord Sugar and I sometimes wind down by playing ping pong <laughs> on the boardroom table. <laughs> That's a hell of a story. True. <laughs> David, what do you think? Have a, have a minute just to let it sink yeah. in. <laughs> You don't play on a proper table tennis table. No, you just play you, on the boardroom table. You can table. buy. Um, it's underneath, actually, in the boardroom. It's rolled up, right. and then you unroll it and you clamp it on the boardroom table, stretched across, clamp it, and you're in business. So is it just the net? Just a net, just or is there net. also there's no, not, we don't not have a, the lines. A, a mat with lines? No, no. It's just the table is slightly bigger than regulation size. Right. <laughs> do you, do you... Is it not also curved? Curve. I thought it was curved. <laughs> <laughs> curve like... You're thinking of all swimming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to tell watching on television, but yes. how much room is there at, e at the ends of the table? Oh, plenty. OK, I believe you. Ample. <laughs> yeah. You have to be able to back off quite away when playing table tennis properly, I happen to know. <laughs> Can we stamp on this immediately? Lord Sugar's boardroom is plenty big enough for almost everything. <laughs> yes, you play table tennis. <laughs> Where do you keep the bats? Do you, are they under the table under, during the... Under the She's table. She's left now, isn't she? Under the table. <laughs> not Margaret. No, 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 no. no. I'll tell her. Not about Margaret. <laughs> Margaret's no bat. <laughs> tell us how this whole thing started. It was my idea. You crazy fool. <laughs> it was my idea. No, but the point is that it's a fairly long, drawn-out drawn out process. It is tense. It, it is nerve-wracking, particularly for, uh, for, for, for Karen and I, yeah. because we don't know what on earth's going on. It's only Lord Sugar who's master of all this. And I just sort of murmured to him once that I find this very difficult. And he said, well, look, don't worry. Next time I'll bring in a net and some balls and some bats. <laughs> And it'll help you relax. <laughs> and, that, and it, it grew out of that. <laughs> strange about that. So what does Karen do? How does she relax? Because if you're playing... She's umpire. She's umpire? <laughs> She's got a very keen eye. <laughs> so what do you think, David? I think this is absolute nonsense, <laughs> albeit convincingly told. I, I think if Alan Sugar wanted to play ping pong, he'd have a proper table yeah. tennis table and he'd play it on that. So, so we we think it's not true. We think it's not true. No. Think it's a lie. Yes. Okay. Um, Nick, truth or lie? It's a damned lie. <laughs> <laughs> very, very convincingly told. Yeah. Very convincingly it was a lie. Uh, Nick doesn't wind down by playing ping pong on the boardroom table with Lord Sugar. <laughs> Jack, you're next. <laughs> Uh, I was once commissioned to paint a portrait of Giles Brandreth's cat. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Are you Would ready? you point out to some of the younger viewers who Giles Brandreth is? Giles Brandreth uh, presents uh, strands of The One Show, and he was an MP, and he wears jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> this is a picture of him. OK. <laughs> OK. How did, how did he hear about you? I did a lot of art around the area, not like graffiti, but... <laughs> <laughs> what is this area? Um, barns. 
OK. And I've always been an artist. What, <laughs> what was the cat called? That... I can't remember the name of the cat. It was a black cat. Right. Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> How much did you get paid? Hundred and... like, thirty pounds. Got A hundred and, like, thirty Sick. pounds? <laughs> and also, I'm allergic to cats, so... Danger money. But it was like... Well, no, it was 130 quid and I was 18 at the time, so at that oh, stage of my life, I would have worn the cat as a mask. How did you pose to <laughs> They didn't ask that. Did the cat pose for you, or did you have <laughs> like, a to do sit I had to do sittings with the cat. Shut you... up. I Come did. on now. I did. You Start do not a paint a cat and go, cat, sit on that for three hours. I'll just... The cat moves about. It, yeah, no, and it kept moving around. It was the most annoying cat ever. Yeah. It was like, please, it's it's a cat. sit down. It's a cat. It's down. Down. Oh, it's Sedentary. Yeah. They stay in one place all the time. You can't command the cat, but you say, oh, there's a good moment. The cat seems to be still alive. Oh, oh, what? Jack, what position is the cat in the painting? Like, sort of that. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Taken a picture of the thing, gone home and painted it at home. Wouldn't I you? love this man. No, <laughs> I would have done that, but I didn't have that choice. She insisted that I come so that I could sort of get come to know on. the cat. I know Giles Brandreth. Do you know his cat? I know his wife. What's his wife's name? She's called Michelle. Is his wife is that Michelle? True? You were bluffing, weren't it you? It is. Do you know Giles Brandreth's no. wife? <laughs> So you were quite I'll a good artist, were you? Reasonably good, if he's paid £130. Yeah, okay. I was... Just, no, that, that's fine. Stay there. <laughs> Draw me a cat. Right. <laughs> I should, at this point, uh, tell viewers at home that uh, whilst we do like to receive your paintings, we can't return <laughs> any of them. The suspense. He's David is captivated. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, rather good. David's face is going. This is pretty. This is I have to do it quite quickly, obviously. Well, that's fine. We're not. So, David, this is an extreme sport. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if people have just turned over. They're going to be thinking, what on earth is David looking at? <laughs> uh, well, okay, Jack. Reveal the cat. <laughs> Well, Lee, it's time to make up your mind. What do you think about Jack's story? Is he telling the truth, or uh, is he, in fact, telling us a lie? I am... I'm right down the middle. Cos, Giles, does he know you at this point? No. He so... knew me through the family, right. through Mother, and then... Mum, my mum. <laughs> <laughs> he knew me through Mother. Uh... <laughs> Jack, you're succeeding in making David look positively working class. <laughs> I barely need to be here this week. <laughs> I can't, can't give it to him. I think it's a dreadful lie. It's 100% true, I honestly... Oh, well, no. you two fight it out between yourselves. I'm no, not getting it's involved. it's true. I'll go with you, because I like you. Oh! <laughs> touch me. <laughs> um, OK, they're both saying true, and I, I don't want to argue with the team, so I suppose... OK, you're saying it's true. true. Jack, true or lie? It is true. Yes, it's true. And uh, this is the most exciting part of all. We've got the painting oh, here. Yes. <laughs> now, this has been lent to us by the, the Brandreths, Giles and Michelle, and this is a bit special. Get ready. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. That is the most canine cat I've ever seen. Here's the other thing. We've also got 
got a photo of the cat, and we're going to do a very modern split screen effect. Look at this, ready? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Yes, it's true. Jack was commissioned to paint a portrait of Giles Brandreth's cat. <laughs> our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. So please welcome this week's special guest, Zazie. <laughs> so, uh, Miranda, we'll start with you. How do you know Zazie? This is Zazie, and we once had a trial together for a professional ladies' football team, but we didn't make the grade. There we are, Miranda's footballing friend. Lee, how do you know Zazie? This is Zazie. I once cut off her ponytail uh, on the school bus, thinking she was my mate Paul. <laughs> Lee's short-haired schoolmate. Nick, what's your relationship with Zazie? Zazie, my uh, neighbour's daughter, she offered to mend my computer and inadvertently emailed to everybody in my address book a picture of my big toe. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. Um, Miranda's failed footballer, Lee's cropped classmate or Nick's accidental emailer. Uh, David. Um, so, Miranda, what was the professional football team you tried out for? It was for <laughs> QPR Rangers. No, Q QPR. <laughs> QPR. <laughs> QPR. <laughs> so, uh, what age were you? Uh, about a sort of early 20s. Early 20s? Mm. So, isn't that, that quite old to be breaking into professional football? <laughs> you haven't seen QPR play, have you? <laughs> <laughs> What position did you play? Uh, well, we, we were just sort of <laughs> tipping up. <laughs> so just seeing. <laughs> Can you imagine if this is what she'd have done on the day? <laughs> A lot of happy memories yeah. of your footballing <laughs> past. We were going to team talk. Yeah. We were just hoping that they'd see us. <laughs> Say, oh, you're a defender. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, I don't know uh, why I'm finding this so funny. Um, <laughs> had, had you, when you turned up to, to try out, had you ever played football before? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you just thought, you thought if football's probably not a thing that involves practice. <laughs> You've either got it or you haven't. I'll, t I'll wait until I'm 23. <laughs> QPR, and, and they'll probably let me in the team, and there I am, sorted. Yeah, well, we played a bit at university, I'm actually crying. Oh, you had played? We played a bit at university, sort of mucked about, and we thought, hey, you know, we're quite good. <laughs> Just you and Zazie playing, or were there other people in this team? We had some male friends who were, like, really into football, and we lived with them. And uh, we, one day, probably, you know, trying to impress, said, we'll come and play football with you. And so that, they were thrilled. So, <laughs> so you went... And they said, hey, you've got some skills in it. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, so, Nick, what went wrong with your computer? What was...? Running slow. Grindingly slow. And uh, why didn't you contact someone, you know, a proper computer person? No, maybe she is a proper computer person who happens to be your neighbour's yeah. daughter. You... Very what? simply, because we know them very well. I know that she did a computer course at university. And why would I go out and spend a fortune when Zazie can come in yeah. for a tenner? <laughs> and why, why was there a picture of your big toe on this computer? No, one of the issues was it obviously was clogged up with stuff and I needed it purged. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her that there were various folders that needed to go. My medical folder had to be uh, uh, deleted, yeah. a number of other folders I had to get rid of. My doctor is in London, we live in the country. I had had a very, very nasty uh, accident, stubbed my toe, heavy bruising, <laughs> the threat of a lost nail, <gasps> and I thought that I would email it to the doctor oh, okay. and he would then email back advice. Yeah. Anyway, that was some time ago, and I wanted it now deleted. And, of course, she wasn't quite as good at her computing skills as I had hoped she was, or, indeed, that she had claimed. <laughs> you are terrifying. No. 
I don't like to say this in front of her, but she had been drinking. <laughs> and she pressed the um, email thing, and 700 people, including business contacts, serious people, were emailed a picture of this battered toe. <laughs> And Including Sir Alan Sugar? Yes. He was the he first. He received a it. picture of your toe. He sent one back of his. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was actually quite a bruising experience because people didn't find it at all funny. Lee. Um, yes. Z you, you pronounce Zazie's name Zazie. That's the kind of guy I am. I'm a maverick. And you were at school with Zazie. Well, I was, yes. And before it's pointed out, I was in a different year, yes. OK. How much older? Uh, I think there was about four years difference. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you okay. cut off Zazie's ponytail. Can I just point, point out, we didn't actually... We weren't actually at the same school. I should get that in, really. We were on the... the we call it the school bus. It wasn't a school bus that yeah. was only for school children. It was the bus I got to school. So you I went... You, oh, you, you it was you a public to bus. And, and she was a child who didn't know on the bus. Yeah. And you got Start you to sound like a court case, Debbie. Can you back off? You, and you, you attacked her head with a sharp object. I didn't object. attack her. I did not attack a child you, Sorry, on you the bus. mistook a child's head for the head of one of your friends. Yeah, I was about 15. She was... Uh, I don't know what she was, but she, she looked Three. like... She Three. Three. <laughs> Why did you want to cut off Paul's ponytail? Well, Paul's ponytail, I've always found a little bit annoying. I mean, let's face it, have you ever seen a ponytail on a man and not wanted to cut it off? <laughs> it's, still, it's still a bit of a step to yeah. actually have a go, isn't it? Cos, after all, it's, it's up to people how they have their hair. It's not up to you, is it? <laughs> Trust me, David, if it was up to me, you wouldn't be having your hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Thank you. Was Paul somewhere else on the bus? Yes, Paul was sat next to me and he went, hey, go over there no, and cut no. my hair off. And I fell <laughs> what are you going? Mean, it's quite, it's quite... All right, Paul, stay there, I'll do it now. So this... I was a gullible fool. This is an environment which you... You, you don't know Paul's on the bus at all. No. Paul, I you don't You just know... see the back of a little girl <laughs> and go, there's Paul! <laughs> where are my scissors? <laughs> might know Paul was somewhere on the bus and then you see the ponytail and you've only got a moment quick snip. You don't even know Paul's there. You're just seeing ponytails and snipping away, despite the fact that Paul is apparently wearing a little dress. <laughs> so, so, David, what are, what are you thinking here? I'm slightly inclined to believe Lee. Ooh, what do you think uh, about Miranda's story about the football <laughs> trial? That seems... <laughs> That He's very much came to life, didn't <laughs> it? He certainly seemed to know a lot about football, yeah. so I was impressed with that. I think it might be Nick and his separating toe. Emailing yeah. of the toe. And what about I you, reckon, Jack? I reckon it's Nick. And what about you, David? Well, I don't know. I'm stuck. Okay. But my two teammates agree, so I'm happy to go along with that. You're saying that it's Nick, Nick. and it's the yeah. toe and it's the email. Yeah. Zazzy, <laughs> would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Zazie, and Miranda and I once tried out <laughs> for a professional football team. Yes, Zazie did try out for a uh, ladies' professional football team with Miranda. Thank you very much, Zazie. <laughs> with some high-speed lying in our final round, Quick Fire Lies. And we'll start with... Uh, David Mitchell. I killed a rat with my BAFTA. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that's true. That's I want that to be true. if it is true. You got a BAFTA? <laughs> <laughs> the rat? The rat was in some bin bags that were sort of outside, on, um, sort of around the corner from my kitchen. Can I, can I ask a question? Is this the BAFTA you won when one of the other nominees was me? <laughs> um, I don't want to make you feel small, Rob, but it was the other one. <laughs> How did you kill it? I, I didn't mean to kill it. 
Whoa, whoa, I mean, whoa. You didn't I, mean to kill it. Just meant to no, award well, it with uh, the bath. No, no. <laughs> yeah, so I, I run into the flat. Yeah. I grab the BAFTA. Where is the BAFTA? The flat? It's on a bookshelf. Right. On display. Uh, oh, absolutely, yeah. It's Big got end. lights around it. Yeah. <laughs> it's in what I call my me room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I then go outside with the, with the BAFTA. I hold the BAFTA at arm's length, <laughs> sort of over where the bin bags were. <laughs> and I drop it. And, and you then get scuttle so around you drop the corner. With, do you drop it with the idea of just shoe? That sort of... Sort of shoe... But maybe I'm maybe I'm entertaining the possibility of injuring it, and I'm, I don't like that side of myself. And by absolute coincidence, it's landed right down on the rat. Bam! Wow! And then there's silence. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> now that's where you're wrong. Right. Why? You get a squeal. Just a little. I'd like to thank my family, and then it would die. <laughs> I know about rats. So have you killed oh. the rat? Yeah, my dogs kill rats. And did it squeal? Squeal like hell. Well, mm. dogs are much crueler than bastards. <laughs> True or lie? Ooh, I, I'm really tall on this one. Mm. What do you think, Nick? No, you attack a rat from a distance. You do not go hunting into your me room looking for something heavy. <laughs> <laughs> You think it's a lie? Mm. You're not sure. I'm utterly confused. Well, then I'm going to go. I'm going to go for lie, but there's a bit of me that just thinks it could be true. Yeah, I'll say lie. I'll it's say lie. One. Saying lie? Yeah. David, truth or lie? It is a lie. No. Oh. <laughs> well done. Well done, yes, it's a lie. David didn't kill a rat with his bathtub. You mustn't get obsessed by meaningless awards, as I was telling my children, Oscar, Emmy, and Brit, only yesterday. <laughs> Next. <laughs> uh, that's me. This is the sweatshirt that my wife and I put on together when we are cozying up on a chilly evening. We call it the Cuddle Jumper. <laughs> True. <laughs> Can I just ask for the full demonstration with Nick? Would that be okay? <laughs> Can we see a model? Can, Nick, can you model with Rob the cuddle jumper? Prefer not to. Well, yeah. <laughs> we all prefer not to. That's why I got in quick. Because <laughs> I know where it was heading. <laughs> yeah, you can cuddle on with him and you can... Uh... I have to get in there. <laughs> Yourself as a bit of an apprentice with this. There we go. <laughs> Stick your. How do we? Quite nice, actually. All right. You can just sit in my lap, then. <laughs> right. Ooh. Ask. Who wants want to ask first? So both teams. Um, Nick, how, how does it feel? Yeah, oh, that's my phone, by the way. <laughs> Hard to describe accurately. <laughs> Nick, will you help me and turn this way? Because. room is very drafty. <laughs> so, we, what are you doing? Whoa, 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 come back. It's very drafty. And we saw this on a shopping channel and we ordered it for a laugh. And it's actually, I mean, you'd have to admit, it's very cosy. You look like a ventriloquist dummy now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Orville's let himself go, hasn't he? <laughs> So we ordered it, and we we don't wear it every night, but we do wear it, we do wear it sometimes. Is this the position you'll be in, where the, your wife will be? Sorry, no, sorry. because in, we have more than one chair in our television room, so we so we sit on the sofa He's side by on side. The sofa, wouldn't yeah, it? but we haven't got a sofa. Well, so that's a good question. Sure. More than one chair. Have you got more than one jumper? It's a cuddle jumper. Well, why why do you wear jumpers get... and cuddle up? Why did you get it in orange? 
We wanted that Guantanamo feel, you know? Do they have pants, do they? No. You could have pants, couldn't you? Three legs. Are you suggesting that you lose the pants? <laughs> Does the design lend itself to intimacy? Yes. Not tonight, it doesn't. <laughs> Time for a guess. What are you going to say, Lee? Uh, Miranda. I just really. I hope... want to get in your jumper now. Rebecca, Rebecca, this if does put some pressure on you. So what do you think, Lee? I don't want to rush you. I'm really cosy. <laughs> so what are you saying, truth or lie? Um... <laughs> what are you doing? We think it's a lie. To try. Hang on. We have to consult our other team member. Come over here. Do we think it's true or a lie? I don't know what the question is. The question is, does he cuddle, does he, does he cuddle up to his wife with In his this jumper? jumper? No. No. It's a lie. What strong thighs, this boy. Yeah, and you've got a very bony bum. <laughs> Famous. What about you and Rebecca and Jack? What do you think? Um, I think it might be true. I think it's true. In a bizarre, okay. quick as you like. We'll, we'll go for true. You're then. saying true, and what are you saying? Oh, I forgot. Let's lie. go back and ask Nick. <laughs> we said it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie. Well, I can tell you, it's actually a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Now what do we do? It's great. It's great. There's room for three. <laughs> yes, uh, thank goodness it's a lie. Uh, it isn't the sweatshirt that my wife and I put on together when we're cozying up on a chilly evening. <laughs> so, oh, and uh, that noise signals time is up and it's the end of the show. And I can reveal that uh, David's team have three points, but Lee has won with five. <laughs> But it's not just a team game, and my individual liar of the week is Nick Hewer. <laughs> yes, Nick Hewer, who hasn't deceived the public so much since he had a picture taken with Lord Sugar, and they both look the same height. Good night. <laughs>